Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be creating a checkbox. That checkbox is going to be the named the same as a sheet. And when that checkbox is checked, it will go and hide that sheet. So we're going to go ahead and dig in and get to work on this. We're actually going to be using ActiveX controllers. There's your controller right there. It's called checkbox one. That's fine for the name. We're going to go ahead and go to the properties. We're going to name the caption. The caption is going to be sheet one. Okay, it's really important that that matches a sheet that you actually have open because if it doesn't, you will get an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. Now we're going to come and we're going to right click on here. I'm going to click design mode back. Well, I was right clicking, but it, since design mode wasn't on, it wasn't pulling it up. So we're going to go to view code. Okay, we've got that right there. So let's go ahead and get back out of that. We're going to go back to view code. I was working on that earlier. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we're going to go sheet check box one dot caption. Now remember, that's what we put in. We're going to go visible equals XL hidden. Now there's three options. There's XL very hidden, XL visible, and XL hidden. So let's go ahead and check this. So let's see actually if it works. So I'm going to click on that. I do need to take design mode off. When I click this, let's go ahead and put in a stop so I can kind of show you what it does. When I click that, it activates this code. I'm going to hit F8. You'll notice that the caption is named sheet one. It's going to go out and find that sheet and hide it, which it does. So I think now that what we need to do is we do need to put in here if that gives me an error right there. So what we need to do is we need to go if that sheet is hidden, then and this just is going to make your code uh, better. So And what this is going to provide is if it's if it's hidden, it's going to unhide it. If it's not hidden, it's going to um, if it's not hidden, it will hide. If it's hidden, it'll unhide. So that's all we're doing here. Just simple little if statement. It's good stuff. Let's go ahead and F8. Oh, we got L. Oh, I hit end. I didn't hit end F. There we go should solve that problem. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. Oh, we get an error here. So we got sheet one. Oh, Excel visible. I'm going to show you a trick here. Um, we're going to come down here. We're going to see what number or constant that is. So active, active, sheet dot visible. It's going to give us a minus one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go minus Excel, Excel hidden. Come up here. We're going to make this a zero or a minus one. And then when we run that, it's going to basically do exactly what we did. So what I did down there is I said in my active sheet, which is my table of contents, visible, tell me if it's visible or not. It is visible. That visible is minus one. So we use the constant instead of the variable. And we're going to go ahead and go like this. Okay, we're good there. Okay, we're going to take this off because it works now. Uh, I am in still in, uh, I was in debug mode, so let's go ahead and take that off. And we got that hiding. So, okay. So now the next thing that's actually a little bit more challenging is we want to delete this from our table of contents. Now, um, the best way to do this is if we know that it's just in one sheet, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little loop here. Actually, we're going to, we're actually not going to do a loop. We're actually going to use the find function. So we're going to go active sheet.
dot cells. Okay, it's not getting my IntelliSense. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to declare a variable. It's uh, declare WS as worksheet. Okay. That does is it's gonna it's gonna provide the IntelliSense. It makes it a lot easier to code. So we're gonna set WS equal to active sheet. Okay. Now when I come down here and I go WS dot cells, notice the IntelliSense is pulling in. We're gonna go find. And what we're looking for. So you're looking for checkbox and actually you can put in me here it's kind of a quick way when you put me that basically says it's going to be that sheet so this code is actually all in table of contents in that workbook or in that sorry excuse me that worksheet so if I go me that says within uh, the area that I am so in this case it's going to be the table of contents sheet just kind of a quick way uh, pretty cool way to kind of do some stuff so we're going to go to got caption comma after we don't need any of that so we're just going to go ahead and go like that we're going to go dot row okay now we need to pass this to a variable so we're going to we're going to name our variable rw so we're going to go equals row and actually what we need to do we can actually do this all in one row so we're going to go rows dot hidden equals true Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to put a stop there so that you can see that. I'm going to uncheck that. Notice that we're here. This is going to go find sheet one within my um, within my active sheet, which I declared up here. It's going to hide that, so I'm going to hit F8, and it's hidden. Okay, now easy way around this now when we run this again um, it's not going to unhide it because we haven't set it to unhide so now when we do that it's it basically um, it, it really doesn't do anything so what we need to do is we basically need to do a simple if and we're going to do kind of the same thing we did here So we're going to go, if it's if it's hidden equals true, then make it false. We're going to go else. And notice that that else didn't come in because I didn't spell it right. Okay, see how it capitalized? Pretty slick. Throw that in there. Uh, and honestly, I don't know if this is going to work because I don't know if the find finds within the hidden sheet. So that makes it a little bit different, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see if it works. It's the best way to code is just by learning, just by trying. So we're going to uncheck that. We're going to run that. Okay, so I checked that. Okay, now notice it's hidden. So it is true. So it does come back. It does throw in, and that's going to go ahead and unhide it. Now, when I click on that again, it's going to go ahead and hide that because it goes into the else part of the loop. Pretty darn cool. So now we've got those in opposite. So notice that when one is hidden, the other one's not. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick switcheroo right here. We're going to go so it is not equal to true. Actually, that's not going to work. So we're going to go equals when this is equal to. No, we're fine here. I'm just uh, taking a little time and kind of going through the logic here. So actually all we need to do is fix this, is go to here and go unhide. We're going to unhide that. Now we're going to come back here. We're going to unclick, and now it works like a charm. So that's a, a fun little macro, kind of two little things that we did there. Uh, pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed.
thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.